Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And before we start, I would like to thank you for allowing us being on stage for the third year in a row. The first year, we onboarded a customer within minutes. The second year, we demonstrated a customer-centric bank in the cloud. And today, we're going to open up the world of services for you, and we're going to prepare you for the API, the world of API banking. My name is Brian van Wachem. I'm commercially responsible within Five Degrees, and this is Björn Holtersen, co-founder and CTO. Now, the big question is, how can banks join this new and exciting world if in reality their existing systems are even older than the customers they need to cater for? Together with Finextra, we recently asked this question to about 100 banks in 38 countries, and we asked them, how do they invigorate their bank? How do they get ready for this new world? And about 65% agrees that for this new world, they need to um, invigorate and also they need to rebuild their core banking system. And actually, in Europe, 89% insists of rebuilding their core banking systems in order to get away in this new world. They need to do that in the coming three to five years, and that's tomorrow for most of the banks. So let us see what we have today. We have here a bank which is called Banking Right. It's powered by Matrix, our core banking platform. And I go to payments and I go to international and I fill in the 200 euros which I want to wire to my friend in Kenya. Now, I see that this transaction cost me about 6 euros and that is even without the transaction fees and no actual real-time settlement. So that is ridiculous, right? So what are my options? I want to have a transaction which is fast, real-time and cheap. So Bjorn, is this really everything we can do? Well, surely not, Brian. Uh, payments are the backbone of our customer relationships. We traditionally do them like this. However, there are many alternatives. We've got PayPal, Ripple, wallets. And since our bank is running on Matrix, we've got technology on our side. We can easily connect with services from the outside world. And we might even have pre-configured Ripple payments in our library. Well, they are easy, like email. They're fast, they're secure, and they're at the fraction of the cost. So let's make Ripple payments part of the offering for our customers. I will move away from the banking platform and I will dive into Matrix. I will log on. And after logging on, I will immediately go to the plug and play part. I go to processes. Here is the set of all pre-configured processes for the uh, banks that we are looking at. I choose the payment process. And I see that today we are supporting two types of payments, domestic payment and SWIFT payment. Now let's see if we have Ripple, and we do. I simply drag the Ripple payment into my process. I make space, I connect it. Now it's a part of the different payments I support. I will need to add a conditional parameter since we are creating a new payment type. I will call that Ripple. I will connect that with the flow and save my changes. Now, we're nearly there. Since we are referring to a new payment type, we will need to add that payment type and make that available across all channels of the bank. Do that Ripple here. And we're back to the customer facing part. Now, I will simply refresh the payment, and you can then see that Ripple is available for our customers. I will put in the 200 euros, Brian. I will just call it a friend. I put in account details. I choose Ripple. Go to confirmation. I will need to put in a confirmation code. 
normally from a device. This is a demo. And we pro process the payment. Now, what's happening is that the banking right platform has now given the payment instructions to Matrix. Matrix will decide to go for Ripple. Now, when it has brought it to Ripple, the processing of it is happening in the Ripple platform. And it's real, it's live, and for the real cynics in the audience, I just want to show you that I've got the Ripple trade platform here, and if I go into history, you can easily see that the Ripple payment is available here. It normally takes between 1 and 10 seconds to process. Here it is, 200 euros, all in real time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just one example of how banks who use Matrix can open up to the world of services, how they literally can open up for API banking. What kind of services am I talking about then? I'm talking about wallets, remittance, customer financial uh, engineering. Basically, all the presentations you will see in the coming two days could be one of those services. So on behalf of Five Degrees, um, I wish you have a very pleasant two days and I hope you enjoyed the presentations and thank you very much for your attention.